This is your multifaceted black girl, Alexandra Alexis, and I'm here with the beautiful Nah. Thank you so much. And this is Session. Put the top down, off that three series, it's right around uptown. Get lost in the dark like a mystery, wherever, wherever, as long as you with me, we can be outlaws. Nah, the your album just came out, Venus. How are you? How you feeling? Um, I'm super excited. Um, I don't know. I received so much love and support. Like it was, it reminded me like my life is abundant. Mm. So it was such a nice like um, full moon. Yes, <laughs> it was really good. I love the fact that you did it. You dropped it at twelve twelve. Yes. I thought that was really dope. Twelve twelve. I actually meditated, and it was a really like spiritual. It was a really just dope experience in yeah. my practice. And I remember when I was done meditating, I was like, "Nans, I would like." Literally, it was the first yeah, thing yeah. that popped up in my head, and I was just like. I just wanted to know, like, what made you want to drop it around that time? I know, you know, your album's called Venus, so it has a lot, of, a lot to do with like spirituality and all that stuff. But yeah, what was, how was the process of that? Why did, how'd you come up with Venus? So, well, I dropped it on the full moon because I wanted it to kind of, I wanted to release that. I wanted to let go of um, everything that I went through the past this whole year mm. and kind of like start new for like January. Mm. Um, so that's how it came about, and you know, it just. I've trusted my intuition and I was like, I have to drop it now. Like my ancestors are like, yo, totally do good. it. <laughs> like, um, I did like a prosperity bath prior, mm -hmm. like a long time ago. And I was like, this is going to bring me much more opportunities. And like, um, I, I don't know. I just wanted to manifest it. Mm. Yeah. Do you feel like Venus was a, a healing trans, like a healing transformative project for you? It definitely was. Like I used a lot of, um, old songs, like, from the vault mm. and thankfully Jordan Jones of Mike Vision like he Shout out to Jones. Right, <laughs> he really encouraged me to um you know just release them and he believed in them and I was like okay and then once he like mixed them I was like oh shit like you you saw the vision, the vision. too yep. like you know at first I thought it was all in my head and then like to get that support from my friends and like you know everyone from Mike Visions and like you know Todd you guys from release. Past the Ox mm -hmm. like I was like confident. I was like, I feel like my life is changing and it's going in the direction that I'm manifesting. Wow. Yeah. No, I really, I love the EP. Like, it was great. Thank my you. Not to be biased, but my favorite song <laughs> was the one with my boy Lucy. Hey. No, Twilight was really dope. I really liked it. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, like, talk about the process of Venus. Like, how was it recording your sessions? Like, right. how was it getting all that out? I know you said you used old beats, old songs that you were creating, right. but like, putting those, what is six? Six songs on five the EP? Songs. Five songs mm -hmm. on the EP. Like, how was it just curating that whole project? Um, I don't know. It just came about organically. I just had, mm -hmm. like, stuff in the vault. And then, you know, the process of kind of starting new, because I did not record those songs in a studio prior. Ooh. So they were all, like, rough drafts. I did that did it at home. Oh, okay. So for Jordan to, like, recognize, like, wow, this has a lot of potential. Potential, yeah. Yeah, so... That was great because like once I got into the studio, it was like a process too because like I had to get comfortable in a studio. Mm -hmm. It's way different from my home studio. Of course, of course. You it's know? a whole other experience that it, you have to learn. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and so, um, I don't know, like Jordan is probably like annoyed of me because I literally was like, I don't like this. Please add this to it. Like, no, let's change it. Let's do it again. Like, can you keep recording? Like, keep mm. every, every take, like, mm. because it mattered to me. And like, you know, he listened and like, we did it. And he did his magic with engineering and like made my voice sound beautiful on no, the project. It was, and that's and what, that's one of my favorite things about you. Like, um, I've never been to like a female session before. Right. I usually, you know, I'm surrounded by a whole bunch of rappers. Like, I usually go to a lot of male um, sessions. But going to your session, it was really dope because seeing you being a female but being so meticulous about your yes. work, being so nitpicky, like you would, <laughs> like you just, you would hear something and I would see your face and I was like, nah, like this gotta go. Like, right. And I love seeing that because it really showed that like not only are you strong in your craft, but you really take this seriously. And as a female, you know, I feel like sometimes we have a lot of times where we have to be quiet or a lot of times right. where we have to, you know, keep things in and, you know, we feel bad to like be expressive about our art and the things that we care about. But seeing you in your session, it was dope seeing you take charge and just really be, you know, just channel all that divine femininity and right. really Thank just be you. like, this is not what I want, but this is what I want. Right. <laughs> and, yeah. and that's important because like mm -hmm. in this industry is so male driven. Mm -hmm. And so to have like allies, especially like, you know, 
okay, my engineer, like, he's a man, and, like, for him to be, like, okay, like, I trust you, mm. you know? Um, because, obviously, I have ideas, and, like, this is my song, and, like, I, I don't know why my ear hears certain things, yeah. and, like, it gets really annoyed when it's, like, not perfect. It's your baby. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. for him to be, like, okay, we'll do it that way, even though I think something else, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes people are like, do you really, like, it ain't that deep. That's what <laughs> we learned last um, session mm -hmm. um we went to blue studio and i don't know like there's um i forget which song it was but there was a part where i'm like singing deep mm -hmm. and, like the word deep yeah. and <laughs> i actually like the way the tone sounds deep but i didn't like it right mm. so i was like can you fix that like and they're like we don't hear anything <laughs> and literally like the quote of the night was it ain't that it deep. ain't that like, deep. <laughs> But they still changed it for me. Exactly. And I bet you they were like, oh, that was actually fine. Better, and yeah. that was better. <laughs> no, that's amazing. So from your sessions and this, you know, Venus is finally out. What is something you learned from this entire experience? Um, well, I learned that I need to trust my intuition more. Mm -hmm. um, I need to be mindful of everyone that I'm surrounded by because and utilize them as like, you know, a resource, mm. you know, because sometimes for me, I'm like always in my head. I'm an artist. So I'm just like, you know my doubt sometimes and my ego kind of like gets in the way yes mm -hmm. so i don't know like this made me realize like i have the love like mm. everybody loves me yeah. you know and mm -hmm. i love them as much too so mm -hmm. like i need to um be more active in showing that mm. um reciprocating that and also like also accepting it with grace yes yes yeah i know as creatives as artists it's really hard to sometimes ask for help or right. like to want to be need a team or need people that could push right. you. But like, I like all I've learned in this past year as a creative is without others, without a team, without a solid foundation, like it's hard to do anything. Like right. you need those people that are going to push you, that are going to critique you and that are just going to be honest. And right. like, that's really dope that you learned that. I really like that. So let's get into your motherhood. I love it. Yeah, I saw your little boy. He was like, come yes. listen to mommy's album. Yes. <laughs> he was so cute. Yes, he's three. Yes. So he's my biggest supporter. Really? Like, and every time like I'm singing or I'm playing my music because I have to listen back to it mm -hmm. to, you know, nitpick. Mm -hmm. um, he sings along too. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. raising a son i love i love the word son because it's like you have a son like he you're, is the, you're son. Light, the son that's right. so beautiful how is it raising a son um it's hard <laughs> like, um having a child is hard and so like ev to every mother out there like kudos mm -hmm. to you guys like we're powerful mm, and so powerful i think it's important like thank you so much for like even bringing the topic of motherhood mm -hmm. because our visibility isn't you know isn't normally seen mm or um, marketed or advertised or nothing. And it's like, how could you not like make that's your, space? That's your being, like right. that's everything that you are. Right, yeah. how can you not make space for like the future? Like we're literally growing the future mm. of our country. Exactly. You know, so um, thank you for bringing that no, up. No problem. Um, but motherhood has been hard. It's also great because like, I don't, I can't believe that I'm raising like a compassionate child mm. and he's learning that from me mm -hmm. and it's also helping me to like forgive myself too wow because like i make mistakes you know um and i'm struggling and i'm trying to do my best but like you know he still loves me yeah despite it all right mm -hmm. and that's been like a huge like that changed the trajectory of my life wow yeah it's an unconditional love it's so beautiful oh. and how do you feel after, you know, now that Venus is out, I know you're working on so much more. You're a dope creative. Like, I already, I'm so excited for the next. Like, I'm already, like, I got through your five songs and I'm like, I want more. <laughs> like, I'm you. so excited for what's to come. But how do you feel like this has transformed you? Like, are you ready to take on, like, more? Like, what, what's next for Nan? Oh, oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm already, like, I'm 
So the next thing is definitely an album. And like, I'm already making commitments to manifest this dream of mine that mm. I've been working on 10 year, for 10 years, wow. you know? But now it's like, I'm doing projects where I'm like really committed to like working organically with people and, mm. you know, just pushing it the right way. Like mm. I don't, I know this is like cliche, I don't need the money. Like, you know, mm. I do this because I it's love- about the money. I yeah. love to create. However, it's really nice because like I need like um, financial support, you know, <laughs> I need to, I want to make this a living, mm -hmm. but like, how do I make this sustainable mm. and also like um, organic, organically, authentically, and allows me as an individual, as an artist, as a mother um, to be free mm. at the same time Ooh, because, freedom. yeah, yeah um, it's very important to me because, you know, we live in a society where it's like, that's not the case. Mm. Like. People will like, I don't know. It's just, they want pieces of you. And yeah. it's like, I'm going to, you know, if I'm going to give to you, I have to make sure that like I'm protected as well. Mm. You know, I mean, that's the only, like, that's the biggest thing. It's like, you can't help anyone until you help yourself. You know, you can't inspire others until you even inspire yourself. You know, you have to truly hone in all of that to give it out to the world. And that's really dope. I really like that you said that because a lot of people, don't realize that like you really have to per not even we're, we're never going to be perfect beings but you really have to constantly work on trying to perfect yourself because that perfects your craft that perfects your artistry that perfects everything around you and um with this project being out if someone was if someone never listened to nine what would you say is what are you trying to get across in your music um hmm that's that's a tough question <laughs> um because i'm still learning like i Basically, I would tell somebody if like you want to listen to a new sound, mm -hmm. um, someone who's also progressive in their thinking, that's mm -hmm. always, you know, I'm an abolitionist, so I'm always trying to fight for freedom for like everybody, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so if you're down with that and you're down with like the cause of like undoing a lot of mm -hmm. systems, you know, that the ones that especially like keep us like down, yeah. then listen to my music yes. because I'm for the people. Um, definitely you definitely yeah. are for the people and that's something i love about you because you're not just an artist you're an activist you're you do so much in the community and i feel like all of that really does um make sense for who you are it really makes sense for your artistry because you're, you're just all about healing you're all about growth you're all about yeah. evolving and i feel like if i know i just took your your question but like if someone <laughs> wanted to know from my aspect like why you should listen to non it's just like i feel like watching your journey someone would learn a lot about themselves or Thank even you. learn how to progress in their journey and i think Thank that's you. that's really dope about your music and your sound is really different and it's really refreshing like oh. i love hearing it man i'm so happy about venus and i'm just so excited to see what's 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 left to come like what's more from non like this is gonna be amazing yes just witness the growth you know mm -hmm. please if you guys like subscribe to my website so that i could keep in touch because like i want to do it like you know, like I understand like how important it is to connect with people who are like your fans or your friends who like support you. And like, that's how I want to do it. Um, but yes, yeah, just, you know, come on the ride with me and, you know, we'll go through the ups and downs. But like, you know, hopefully we'll both learn something from it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't already, go stream Venus. It's on all streaming platforms. Um, it's a five song EP. It's really amazing. And yeah, like, thank you for coming here today with me and just chopping it up. And I wish you the best on all your endeavors, but I can't wait to witness it all because I'm gonna be right here, like, ruin you on. Girl, I'm, so, I'm so excited. I'm the first, like, the sessions. This is sessions. Like, it's a female run sessions. Like, yes. you have amazing things going on, thank too. You. So thank no, you. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you so much. And that is our session. That was dope. I love that. It's up to you, New York. I am just a schemer. Trying to turn you down, believers in the dreamer. Child, I know you work your nine to fives. Never depending on no guy. But in this time of your life, you're just trying to get by. So. You smoke a little high just to get a little high Closer to touching the sky You're waiting on the stars to perfectly align This can't be a crime trying to get what's mine I am just a schemer Trying to turn you non-believers into